Welcome to Weekend Word. Today we're going to talk about our blind spot. We all have them. We have those places in our lives that are weaknesses. Sometimes we're aware of them and we consciously work on them and sometimes we have no idea. And this is why it's important to have people that can speak into our life, people that pray for us, that we have a pastor that we submit to. If we're married, that we have a husband that we are submitted to because we are human and we are frail. And if you look in the Bible, there were many great men of God that had blind spots. Look at David. He had a blind spot, didn't he? When he looked over that roof at Bathsheba, he probably didn't even realize that that was going to be such a temptation to him. But what is your blind spot? And what is my blind spot? Sometimes it's our children. You know, I, I love that quote by Ann Geddes that says, to have children is to have our hearts forever walking around outside our bodies. And that is very true. But our children often are our egos, aren't they? Boy, you can do a lot of things to me and I'll keep my mouth shut and I'll take it to prayer. And I won't say a word and you'd never know it that it was bothering me. But mess with one of my kids. Whoo! And I come out swinging like a mama bear. And that sounds honorable. And in some cases, maybe it is honorable. But my kids can be my blind spot. I used to tease my kids, still joke about this now, that my children are perfect. And we joke about it when we get together for family gatherings. Did you know my kids are perfect? I used to think my kids were so perfect that I very rarely let them go to anybody else's house because I was worried about other people's kids having a bad influence on them. So what is your blind spot? What is that place in you that when you go before the Lord and you start to repent, because we all should repent every day. The Apostle Paul said, I die daily, right? We all should come before the Lord in repentance. And you feel that? Mm. What is that place that God's dealing with you on? Or what is that thing that angers you? Because a lot of times when we fly off the handle in our spirit, even if we have the maturity not to fly off the handle with our mouth, but when something makes us that quick get angry, it's usually a sign that there's something inside that needs to be dealt with. That can be a blind spot. Maybe we're full of pride or maybe we have low self-esteem. I don't know. But I do know that God wants us to always seek to grow in him, always seek to pursue him, always try to strive towards to be more like Christ. And we can't do that if we're not willing to open ourselves up and ask him, God, what is my blind spot? So I encourage you today to talk to someone that you trust. Hopefully you have an accountability partner. Hopefully you have someone that, that you can talk to, that you can go to and you can say, what do you see in me that I don't see in myself? And then you can receive it and you can take it to the Lord because it's very, very important that we are aware of the flies in our ointment so that our anointing can be more pure and so that we can become more Christ-like. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I ask that you would help my viewer today and myself, God, that we would be aware of where our weaknesses are, God, and that we would not be so self-righteous or so prideful that we would not recognize that we have all sinned and fallen short of your glory and that we need to understand, God, that we do have weaknesses and we do have blind spots, God. Help my viewer, Lord, and help myself today, God, that we can lay that at your feet and that you can help us to be accountable and to be broken before you, God, that we can become more like you. In Jesus' name, amen.